Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Nadia and every week I bring you free sex advice and sex talk aimed at breaking down the shame and stigma that we have around sex. And today I want to talk to you about the one question, just one, that will totally change your sex life. So as someone who talks a lot about sex and very openly about sex, I have a lot of followers and subscribers and readers of my columns write in and ask me questions. And one of the main questions I get is some form of my sex life is kind of dying right now. Is there anything I can do to fix it? And the good news is you absolutely can fix it. And the even better news is it's actually really simple. And it's so simple, it's crazy that we don't talk about it more. And it all starts with one simple question. And that question is, what are you into? Now, I know that sounds like such a basic question, but because our culture is so sex negative, we aren't taught to actually feel comfortable enough to ask our partners or our lovers what it is that they're actually into when we're getting into bed with them. In fact, it's pretty normal to just give the green light for sex and then not have any communication from that point onward. Maybe some moaning and <laughs> that sort of thing, but not actual communication in terms of actually expressing what we want and need. I like to use the example of married couples. I speak to a lot of married couples, both men and women, that have been in monogamous relationships for 20 plus years. And yet, when they get in the bedroom with their partner, with their husband or wife, they tell me, oh, I just feel too weird to, to ask that, to ask what she's into, or um, shouldn't I already know that? Well, no, of course you shouldn't already know that if you've never asked it. And it's, it's crazy that we feel too weird to ask our partner what they're into, but we don't feel too weird to get completely naked in front of them and have, you know, their penis enter our body or, you know, enter their body, whichever way around it is. Whether you're having casual sex right now or you're in a monogamous relationship, it really doesn't matter. You need to get comfortable talking about it because that is where really crap, really boring, just unsatisfying sex is born in not communicating. So while people are coming to me and asking me for advice and help with their sex life all the time, which I love, by the way, it's, it brings me so much joy and passion to help you guys out. On the other hand, it's crazy to think that you guys come to me before you go to your own lover or your own wife or husband. So that's what I want you to do. Keep coming back to this channel and getting great advice for improving your sex life, guys. More power to you that you're actually actively trying to do something to have better quality sex. That in itself is awesome. But having great sex needs to start on the level of you communicating with your partner. And if you are not ready to communicate with your partner, then I've got some bad news for you. You're not ready to have good sex. You're going to continue having really unsatisfying sex. The good thing about asking your partner what they're into is of course, it prompts a discussion back the other way of them asking you, well, what are you into? Now, the next part of this is defining what you're into. See, here's the crazy thing because we don't talk about sex and we don't negotiate boundaries and we don't ask each other what we're into in the bedroom, the vast majority of us actually, even as grown adults, don't know what it is that we are into. We've never really truly allowed ourselves to explore it. And I know that was the case for me. If you guys follow my sex columns, you'll know I talk a lot about the fact that I was married for seven years and I was just having sex the way I thought sex was supposed to be. And it was okay, I guess. Um, but it wasn't until I started having a bunch of casual sex after I came out of my marriage and I started learning to try different things in the bedroom and ask for what I wanted that I discovered what my sexual desires and needs were. And they weren't things that I'd been asking for in my marriage, which was the one place, of course, where I should have been asking for them. So 
you guys can start now and the best way to work out what it is that you are into is through masturbation. I personally highly recommend purchasing a dildo, a vibrator or a clitoral vibrator if you're one of the 80 odd percent of women that needs clitoral stimulation in order to reach an orgasm. Or if you're a man, even buying a masturbation sleeve. I have a page with Love Honey if you guys are interested. There's a link down in the description below. And I've listed all of my favorite and the ones that I personally use. Mm. Another thing that we've so demonized as a culture is porn. We say that porn is bad. And if you watch porn when you're in a relationship, well, then you might as well be cheating. But it's not the case because that's your solo sex life and your solo sex life begins and ends with you and you alone. The reason I recommend porn and porn won't be for everyone and if you give it a go and it's not for you then it's not for you. You shouldn't feel pressured to. But the reason I recommend everyone give porn a go is because porn has anything and everything the mind can ever dream up. Someone has made a porno about it. So what's great is you can actually watch all different things and see what turns you off, what turns you on, maybe what surprises you that you actually find quite arousing that you hadn't thought of before. What I recommend if you're new to porn is to start out soft core. There are some great channels out there like um, Nubile Films is a more sort of sensual one, it's more soft core. And then you can work your way up to some of the more hardcore stuff and then take that valuable information back into the bedroom and communicate it to your partner your most powerful sex organ for having the best sex of your life is your mouth and i'm not talking about giving awesome blowjobs though those can definitely be fun too i'm talking of course about communicating because what you want sexually changes for some people it can change from day to day and in fact it's healthy for it to change otherwise we get bored now the great way of communicating the things that you want in bed are to communicate them in a sexy way you know you can say things like i fucking love it when you suck on my titties like that it turns me on hardcore or um oh baby when you put your hand around my cock like that it drives me wild like there are way there are sexy ways to communicate it it doesn't have to be done in a boring or clinical way but it does have to be done if you want to have good and satisfying sex so go forth now and have wildly more satisfying sex by following the steps of masturbating or watching some porn and maybe trying out a sex toy and working out what you're into and then taking that information back into the bedroom, communicating it with your partner and asking what are you into. All right, guys, let me know if that advice helped you and how you go with it. I always love to hear your feedback and I read all the comments every time. And as always, please subscribe to my channel because your subscriptions are what are helping me to keep this channel alive so I can keep bringing you sex advice for free every single week. All right, guys, until next time, I will see you later. Mwah.